Hello, I'm Swarna Rajagopalan, the founder of Prajnya. I hope this finds you well. I'm reaching out to you to say that we need your support and to explain why. So thank you for listening. Let me start by telling you why we do what we do. From the beginning, we have been clear that our role was to inform citizens and shape their thinking on issues related to peace, justice, and therefore gender equality. To this end, we have conversations with people in different formats, dialogue, discussions, workshops, seminars, and online. But what do we actually do? Our work is broadly in two areas, gender equality and peace education. Our gender equality work falls into three categories. We document women's contributions in social movements, community work, politics and policy making through our oral history projects and the Prajna archives, which is a crowdsourced repository of photos. Related to this, we do a small amount of advocacy work around increasing women's participation in public life. Finally, we work to create awareness around gender-based violence, which places constraints around all opportunities, including working in public places. Our peace education work, More Muted, began with working with schools, curriculum, and teachers, integrating Montessori and NCRT perspectives. Peace and disarmament studies now inform our public education work in this initiative, including our peace and gender lecture series held twice a year. Working with others is both a value and a mandate at Prajnya. Consultations and partnerships are very important to all our work. Here's a collage of images from different kinds of activities we have undertaken over the last 15 years, from trainings to seminars, to film festivals, to thematic calls for photos, to hanging out with Sunday walkers at the beach. In almost 15 years, our work has been mostly done by volunteers and supported by individuals like you and me. As we grow, this is getting harder to sustain. We need to pay decent salaries. We need to have an office which requires rent, utilities, maintenance, and our actual work also entails some costs, whether in person where we have to travel, take handouts, arrange tea, etc., or digital where we pay for Zoom, we pay to store content, etc. In 15 years, we have earned credibility for our ability to do the work. There is so much to do and we could do so much more, but without your support, this is just wishful thinking. Prajna does not receive government money or CSR funds or grant money. In part, this is also because we cannot afford to hire people who can write proposals and apply for these. Are we such a small and overstretched team? We really need you to help us function and to do more. As you consider tax saving donations in coming weeks, would you please consider making a gift to us as well? It would spare us the constant worry about money that keeps us from devoting our best energy to our work. As you do this, Please note that donations to Prajna are eligible for tax savings under ATG of the IT Act. We cannot accept your donation if you do not carry an Indian passport. And a request, if you make an electronic donation, please put your name on it and let us know so that we can prepare a receipt for you. You can donate to Prajna in four ways. You can scan the QR code here and donate very quickly. You can use our payment gateway. The link is Prajnya, P R A J N Y A dot in slash payment. You can add us as a beneficiary and make a NEFT or IMPS transfer. Details are available at Prajnya, P R A J N Y A dot in slash give. You can make us a, mail us a check or DD. Our address is on the screen. Thank you so much for your attention. Please reach out to us if you have questions or to let us know about your donation. We are very grateful for your support. Thank you again.